Hi everyone, my name is Michael Leverett, or as some of my friends in Westport may know me as Mikey L. Um, I'm here to show you, and oh, I can't forget to mention my special helper here, Cameron. Say hello to everybody out there. Hi y'all. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about iChef, and this is a program that Clements and Lee's has, and it's basically a whole meal in a box. And what's cool about it is if you're in a rush or you're you know, short of time, you're just getting out of work, grab the iChef box, everything you need to make a fully delicious meal is right in this box. And it's very nutritious for you. Um, we've been having it in our family for uh, a, about a couple of months now, and it is so quick, easy to make. When I come home, we're eating healthier foods, we're learning how to cook, because I'll be honest with you, I'm not really a chef, not and me. I don't have enough time to cook, so I just learned how to cook with these meals, and I'm making these fantastic meals that are impressing my friends and family. So. I'm going to make a meal with you today, so I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully we don't catch the kitchen on fire. Cameron's going to be a big helper. He's not going to be using a knife or the oven. No siree. And that's that. We have the balsamic glazed chicken right here. And inside the kit, you're going to find that there's all the ingredients that you need to make a delicious meal. Can I look at it? Oh, you sure can. Come over here, Cameron. Look. Grab the stool. It'll come right up here. All right, we get the cauliflower. We've got um, organic natural chicken, some couscous, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, maple syrup. It's a nice little container. Butter and some parsley, and then. We have at the bottom of the box. Cameron, can you grab that for me? Yeah. Can you put that on the side? Yeah. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Yeah, right there is fine. Thank you. And over here we have all of the ingredients listed. We have the name of the meal that we're making, the balsamic glazed chicken with roasted cauliflower and couscous. And on the back side we have all the instructions. So even the most challenged of chefs out there, Mike Leverett, um, can make these meals and make them in, in a timely fashion. So I'm going to go through this whole process. So again, hopefully I don't burn my kitchen down. Okay, so step one on my instruction list here um, to make our delicious meal is uh, preheat the oven and we're going to roast the cauliflower. So um, obviously, let's see what we're doing here. Um, yeah, I hit that button. And I think I'm going to go right to 450. And I'm starting. Awesome. Next on the instructions is to, we're going to roast the cauliflower. So, but first we're going to wash the cauliflower. We're going to cut it into bite sized pieces. And uh, Cameron, can I have the cauliflower, please? Thank you, sir. All right. Cameron, can you do me a big favor? I'm going to need you to recycle this for me. Thanks, pal. I know where the recycle is. Here. Oh, excellent. Right there. Thank I you. Know. Can you shut the door for me? Yeah. All right. We're going to wash this cauliflower right here. And now I'm going to cut it into bite-sized pieces. Next, we're going to drizzle with olive oil, packet A. You're gonna help me. Um, we're gonna drizzle this like that. Whoops. All right. Drizzle that. Whoa. And there we go. Look at this. We're like pros. We're gonna open up a restaurant. Oh, I think I got more of that in the pan than I needed to, but there we go. All right. And then I'll do a little bit more for good measure. Don't drizzle that. Okay, yeah. And then, all right, next, um, we're going to do a little bit of salt and pepper. Why don't you help me out that, with that, Cameron? With salt and pepper? Yeah, so yeah. can you get the pepper uncovered for me? Mm -hmm. You're going to get it on the product there, or the cauliflower. Tell me when I'm done. Yep, go on all to get in this piece here, too, okay? Good, you can get those down there. Got it? Excellent. Thanks, pal. 
All right, we get these out of here. Okay, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roast until it's lightly brown for about 12 to 15 minutes. While the cauliflower is in the oven, we're gonna start with the chicken. Right here, I've got the oil in the pan from packet B, and I'm gonna put the chicken in. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Get some soap on here. And all right, next we're gonna do a little bit of salt. We'll roll that just a little bit. A little bit of salt on one side. And pepper. Just turn these over a bit. Salt on the other side. And the pepper on the other side. And we're gonna do this about six to eight minutes per side. So I'm just gonna put the lid, cover it, let it do its thing. Hey Siri, set timer for eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes and counting. All right, the timer's up on the cauliflower. Oh yeah, that's good. Hopefully I won't burn myself. And that is hot. All right, next we're gonna remove the chicken from the pan and we're gonna make the glaze. So let's remove this chicken. All right, and now we're gonna start the glaze. So, we're gonna add the balsamic vinegar, and that's two tablespoons of that, which is our two of our packets. It makes it nice and easy for you. No figuring out anything. I don't wanna measure anything. I just wanna, and if you can open the packet like a professional. Really easy to do, at least for me. syrup and it's great how everything's just like perfectly measured out for you and if you have kids spoons or knives at home it makes things even easier Once again, in my household, we recycle everything. So, I'm just gonna take a quick second, throw it down here so I do not forget. All right, so we're gonna put it on low heat and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stir it and um, just kind of keep it, free, uh, do that frequently just so it doesn't clump up in one area and burn. Um, so we're gonna simmer about one minute and the, the texture of the glaze should thicken. Um, and then we're gonna add a half a tablespoon of butter and we're gonna stir until it's melted. So let me get this going. Once again, we're gonna add the half a tablespoon of butter, conveniently in this little packet for you. And 
should melt right into it. And it's, it's definitely thickening up right now. So it looks like I'm in the clear. And if I can't make the glaze, then there's definitely a problem with the chef. Now we're gonna add the chicken back. and we're gonna mix until it's coated. All right, now we're gonna coat with the glaze. All right, that looks good. Smells good. And again, you don't see any smoke anywhere and I think I'm actually doing pretty good with this. All right, Cam, ready? Mm -hmm. Let's fill that up with half a cup of water. Next, we're gonna put the couscous in. And then I'm gonna remove it from heat. I'm gonna stir that. timer for 10 minutes. Awesome. All right, we're just about done. All right, Cam, you ready to eat this? Oh, it smells so good. Let's turn this off. It smells pretty good. Yeah. So this is the couscous. Ooh, can I smell the couscous? You sure can. Okay. Man, I'm just going to wait for you to put it all over it. I just want to have a, one scoop. One scoop? Uh-huh. All right, there you go. We're gonna fin we got to finish up. I'm going to have you sprinkle this parsley on here for me, okay, buddy? Okay. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to hold just a little bit over. I'm going to put on the chicken, okay? Okay. So I'll let you get it go like this. There we go. Let's go do this one. Thanks everybody for watching the video on our iChef. My handy helper Cameron appreciates it. I appreciate it. We want you to know that these meals are going to be found at Clements and Lee's. We're going to have them every week and the program is only going to continue to expand. We've got some exciting new flavors for the summer and in the fall we'll have some other new ones and we're going to be unveiling some new programs and everything with it. So iChef is going to expand. It's going to be so good. We're going to make your life easy. If I can cook it, if Cameron can cook it, you can too. And Cameron, this is great. Bon appétit! Bon appétit!